Hey everyone, Alex Roy here, your trusted John L. Scott agent in Eastside Portland, here with a market update. Been a little while since we did one, about a month and a half, and so it's a perfect time to look back at the first quarter of 2019, and a great way to do that is going to be to take a look at the numbers for the month of April. They are very telling for what's happening in Portland's real estate market in the first quarter of 2019. So to begin with, let's take a look at the average home sales price in Eastside Portland, we've got Northeast, Southeast, Gresham, Troutdale, Milwaukee, Clackamas areas. Those are our four areas. Here we go. What were the average home sales price in these four areas? There you go. Northeast, 447,000 was the average home sales price. Southeast, 422,000. Milwaukee, Clackamas, 453 and then out in Gresham Troutdale bringing up the rear at 390,000. So these prices still up from last year. If anyone was thinking, ah, oh, home prices are starting to dip, you're just reading national headlines about what's going on in some other parts of the country. We have not seen home prices, uh, certainly not the average home sales prices, starting to take a dip in Portland. That's not happening. In fact, let's see what the percent changes of the rolling 12 months, the last 12 months, what they were compared to the previous rolling 12 months before that. So here we go, percent change in the average home sales price. And there you go. As you can see, they're pretty low numbers up in the Northeast. It only changed a half a percent from the rolling 12 months before uh, these last 12. Uh, Southeast is up 3.6%. And you can see Gresham Troutdale still trying to catch up, catch up to where the other uh, areas were that were um, having a, a faster rate of acceleration in years prior. It uh, increased 5.1%. And then Milwaukee Clackamas, 2.9%. So this is definitely different from last year where we were seeing the range being 7 to 11% uh, price appreciation over the last 12 months so things are slowing but all of these arrows pointing up we're not seeing that drop yet where you might see this idea of house prices coming down is when sellers are getting a little bit aggressive with their price and they're having to end up accepting an offer and closing at a price that is lower than what they listed at that we are seeing a lot more and that's just from uh, sellers getting a little over optimistic on what they think they can list their house for. They were trying to push with like a 7% appreciation on their house over what it might have sold for last year and those numbers aren't quite there anymore. But still, great for sellers. Homes are still appreciating. Buyers, what you're getting is, well, not pushing up quite as much. These next numbers though are the ones that are really beneficial to the buyers. What's happening with average days on market? How long is it taking on average for homes uh, to get under contract, to get an offer accepted from when they list? What's that average days on market? Let's check that out. And there you go, average days on market. You can see the numbers are kind of up. 47 days on market for the Northeast, 48 for the Southeast, Milwaukee, Clackamas, 56 days on market between the listing and accepting an offer, and Gresham Troutdale, 68 days. These numbers are up from this time last year. The range uh, for all these areas last year was somewhere between uh, 28 days on market to 48 days on market. So this was the hot, used to be the high end. Now this is the lower end of these numbers. So that means Homes are sticking around in the market longer. Buyers have more time to look around and uh, pick what house they want. They have time to see it come up online, go take a look at the house, have time to think about it a little bit and go back and take that second look, which we didn't have back, certainly not back in like 2016, 2017. So that pace is slowed down, much more better, uh, better for buyers to get out in the market and check things out. And what this also means for sellers is sellers need to be a bit more cautious uh, and thoughtful about their house when they're putting it on the market. If you've got a house with some oddities, like let's say it's a house that fronts on a very busy street, now that buyers have more time to look at houses and more houses to choose from, there's a bit more inventory out there. If your house has something negative going against it, it's going to affect it that much more. And, and so if you're on a busy street, if it's got an odd layout, it is going to be one that's going to get passed over more and more by buyers as buyers have more choices. Now these are conversations I love to have with buyers and sellers 
in person. And so never be afraid to just pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a task, text, shoot me an email, ask me your questions. I love to have that conversation with you. I'm Alex Roy, your trusted realtor in Eastside Portland, working hard for your success. Don't wanna fake it, fake it. I try to wake it, wake it. Yeah.